What's up guys, this is Steady. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're going to be talking about photo upload in ASP.NET NVC, and we're not going to be uploading our photos directly to a database, directly to our database. There's a lot of limitations to that, and I think with social media apps in particular, you're going to have to outsource your photo uploads to a photo bucket service. Sometimes it's called a bucket. Sometimes people um, refer to it as like a blob database. But essentially, we're going to outsource this to a, another piece of 100% free software. Like this doesn't cost anything. And the service that we're going to be using is Cloudinary. Uh, you can use Azure, but I find Cloudinary is a good alternative to uh, small projects are when you're building an MVP. With Azure, it's uh, a little bit more difficult. Cloudinary is a lot easier and you get all of this uh, great documentation and it's really um, plug and play, but it still is robust in a lot of ways too. So what you need to do is go to cloudinary.com. There's no affiliate link. I don't have any affiliation with this company. And um, just sign up for an account and get to the point where you can see this dashboard. Then what you want to do is go into your app settings JSON and upload, or not upload, but you want to copy and paste uh, the cloud name to here, the API key and the API secret. And I can't show you guys my API secret. There's not a huge security risk. Like I guess somebody could take my API secret and upload a bunch of pictures, but um it's free and if your app the good thing too is with this service if your app does get big enough you can begin the paid service so you get like 10 gigs and if your app is really that popular you know you would have to pay them but if it's not then you don't have to worry about anything so i'm just going to go ahead here and paste this and i'm going to pause the video and then i'll meet you guys in the other section Okay, so hopefully you've got your app settings all figured out. And now we want to go into here and we are going to create a little object so that we can handle all of our Cloudinary settings. And I'm going to make a like a folder called helpers and helpers is a good folder to have for just miscellaneous stuff like this. So I'm just gonna create this helpers and I'm gonna call this Cloudinary settings. Yeah, and I'm going to create a class. And this class is going to have the prop. It's going to have a string of, let's see here, cloud name. Then we're going to go down here. We're going to have another prop. It's going to have a string, and it's going to be the API key. So prop, string, API secret. Awesome. So we have our Cloudinary settings, and now we want to go in and build the service for this. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to build the service. And because this is not a repository, we're going to have a folder for our services. So we want to go in here, and we're going to create a services. And remember, the difference between a repository and a service is that a service is when you're abstracting and you are um, not abstracting away database calls. A repository is for database calls. Just remember that. So, we, But we also want to go in here and create our interfaces. So we want to create an interface for this. And we're going to go here. We're going to go interface and we're going to call this iPhoto service. So got our photo service and we need to think about what type of methods that we're going to put in here. So task image upload result and add photo async. Uh, and this is going to take an iForm file. And an iForm file is just a handy little thing that ASP.NET gives us so that when we upload files, it has uh, all of the types of properties that we need. But 
we need to install this package. So <clears throat> go up here to your NuGet packages. We need to install Cloud Engineering. So go into NuGet packages. You can just search for up here and then we're gonna go cloudinary.net. And it's, it's a really popular package, so um, just go ahead and install it. Except, and we seems to have given us an error right here. Um, don't know what that is, but I will go back and take a look at that here in a second. Let's focus on this for right now. So we go in here. So now we have our task and we also want to bring in the deletion result because we want to be able to delete our photos later. So we're gonna have delete photo async and we're going to have a string and we're gonna go in here and we're going to give this a public ID. So we've got our photo service. Now we want to go into our actual services and create this. So we're going to go in here. Then we're going to bring in good old photo service. Photo service. And of course, we're going to have it inherit from the iPhoto service. Go in here, run group, interfaces, then we want to implement these interfaces. So we go here. And now we want to bring in, we're going to bring in a constructor, or not bring it in, it's already there. Fun fact, there even when you don't have that there, this always exists. In every single class, even if you don't have a constructor, a constructor is still in your class, even if you don't put it there. So fun little trivia. <laughs> okay, so we've got I options and then we're going to bring in our Cloudinary settings, just like that. We're gonna bring in extensions, Cloudinary settings. Then we're gonna bring in our config and to set up a new account, we're gonna bring bring this in. This is gonna stand for new account. We're gonna say new account. Hold on, let me just bring in this up here first. So we're gonna bring in private read only cloudinary cloudinary. Just like that. And Cloudinary is going to be using .NET Cloudinary, so great. Then we want to have it so that it's going to uh, actually be able to utilize our account. So we go account, new account. Great, then go in here gonna have config value dot cloud name and if you're wondering where exactly we are getting these let's see we are getting these from the config so uh, this options is going to allow us to bring in instances and then once we have that we can bring in our cloudinary so I options extensions uh, it's going to bring in your options extension. So config dot value dot API key config dot value dot API secret. So we've got that. Wonderful. No errors. And then we're going to bring in Cloudinary, new Cloudinary, and then we're going to pass in that account. So it's going to automatically create the account for us. We don't really have to worry so much about actually creating anything. So here, whenever we add a new file, we're going to have a upload result. So we have is equal to new image upload result. And if 
the file dot length is greater than zero, we're gonna start a stream. So using var stream is equal to file dot open read stream. Then var uploads params is equal to new image upload params. Then come in here and file is equal to, and a lot of this is just boilerplate. And once we get this um, figured out, you won't have to worry about it. You won't have to worry about this anymore. It's like a lot of just boilerplate and setup. So, and then we're gonna pass in that stream. And then the transformation. So if you want to actually do something to, uh, Cloudinary gives you the ability to trim and edit photos and zoom in on faces. So if you want to um, modify this and you want people to only upload like a certain width or you want to control, you want to have some type of uh, thing that will automatically trim the photos for you, this is where you want to do that. And if you're building like a social media app like this one or you're building something where users are uploading a bunch of stuff, you def this is definitely some place that you might want to pay attention to. But, okay, so we got here. We're gonna go into our file description. It's, we've got one. So here we're going to have the actual upload result. So we're gonna take the upload result that we initialize and then whatever Cloudinary return. So Cloudinary is going to handle like the actual upload. We're gonna pass in those upload params. And if all goes according to plan, we're going to return that upload result. Whoo! All right, so now we need to do the delete photo. So we go in here, we're gonna go var delete params is equal to new deletion, deletion params. And then we're gonna pass in that public ID. Then var result is equal to await cloudinary. This is called destroy async. Then we're gonna go delete params. var deletion params and we're gonna return that result. Very nice, we are on our way. And the last thing that we need to do is we need to go into our actual program settings. So we're gonna go up here, then we're going to actually put, we're going to wire this up. So this is, let's see, essentially how we're going to do the dependency injection. So we've got services.configure and we're going to pass in the Cloudinary settings. Settings. And this is what's going to allow us to have that I option. Um, dot configuration dot get Section. Cloudinary settings. Great. So have that, and I'm trying to think of what else. I need before I actually start working on uploading the image through the form. Hopefully this will work. So now we need to actually put these, now we need to actually put this in our form. And let me just boot it up. So we go in here and we're going to go to create 
and we need to put this down at the bottom and we need to do it so that you don't have to actually put in the URL and once we get finished with this one we'll actually be able to upload and our images will be not pulling from our server it will be pulling from Cloudinary server okay so we go into our view or uh, let's actually go into our controllers first so we're gonna go into our controllers and no actually let's do this in the view first I think that the view would probably be the best place to start so we're gonna go in here and you need to add whenever you're adding this is very important whenever you're adding a um, way to upload images you need to change this to uh, multi-part multi -part, uh, form data or else you're going to get an error and you also want to go and I don't know delicate type cannot be inferred those started uh, throwing an error but we can't focus on that right now we kind of had to work on let me just get this done and I'll take a look at that error so we're gonna go down here and we're actually gonna move this down to the bottom and I'm actually looking at I did this before so I'm looking at this code on my other screen so there's a trick to the images and for the images you want ASP for the label and then the input you want a type and you want to make sure that this is a file and you also let me see that should be it then we go over to our controller and we need to have validation for this part as well so we're gonna go into our controller which we're already there and then we're going to go into our model state and instead of having this so if the model state is so in our case if the model state is valid we are going to go bar result is equal to await and we're going to bring in our photo service Oh, we haven't we haven't actually brought in the photo service yet. So we go in here. We're gonna go I photo service photo service, and we're gonna go here. Create an assign field. Make sure that that is underscore. You don't have to, but I think it makes it look a little bit better. Then we're gonna go down here, and we're gonna bring in the actual photo service. So photo service dot add photo async and here we're gonna have club dot image actually let's go ahead and make a DTO for this we're getting a little carried away um, now I'm going to introduce you guys to the concept of a DTO so there's all different types of ways that you can control like passing state in your views but view data whenever your views start getting more and more complicated um, a lot of times it just makes more sense to just create view models for your views and this one I'm actually just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna add a folder called view models and we're going to call this one let's see I'm just gonna call it club controller view model so here and let's see all right so we're gonna go add club create club view model create club view model and then our view model is going to have this great and then we're going to go back to our controller create 
creates club view model. And we're going to actually bring in our club that way. Then we can go ahead and make that one so we have here. We're going to go image var. Let's see what's going on here. And for this one, we're actually we're going to have to change this to an iForm file. Another one of the reasons why we use view models. So we're going to have that there. Then we're going to go back to our club controller. Okay, then we're going to go down here and we need to... Uh, we could use auto mapper for this, but I think using auto mapper is going to be over way overkill in this situation so we're just going to go down here we're going to go title then we're going to pass in club.title and then here we're going to go description club.description then we're going to go here we're going to go image then we're going to return our result we're going to actually return the result that we get back from cloudinary so it's going to go all the all the way back it's going to come back here and it's going to give us a nice little string that we can use in order to club so we need to change that and it's going to give us a nice little url that we can deposit in our database if that makes sense hopefully that makes sense so all of that is going to be offloaded and then we can go down here and then right after for club so and then after that we can return and if that fails we can add a model state error so model state dot add model error and we'll just say photo upload did photo upload failed that will be a good way that we can and then if this one if it fails again we will just return the view with the club view model back in it and that should work okay great and let's go ahead and run it let's see what happens let me get a drink of my coffee i'm almost out of coffee here okay so we're gonna go in here I uh, photo service so we got an error and I think I know what the error is we need to go back and we need to add the error that we got we need to go in and we need to add our photo service into here so dot services builder dot services dot add scopes I photo service and then we're gonna bring in our photo service just like that and we're, we don't need the I just need a regular photo service so bring in photo service we've got our services so we go in here Go create and we're just gonna upload this. So let's see what happens. Model state is valid. I think that worked. Yeah, it worked. Okay, great. And let's check out our club. Make sure, yep, we got a URL. That is a URL, URL from Cloudinary. 
foreign key constraint. Oh, okay. So we actually need to go in to our, we actually need to add the addresses ID. So whenever we add an address, we actually need to go into our club view model. You know, let's go in here. We actually need to add addresses to our view model. So we go in here, prop address. And we go to address right here. just like that and then we're going to go back so address is equal to new address and we go into here Club VM city dot address. We got a state. And trying to think what else that we need. Yep, street city state. So we're gonna have street. Great. Then we need to go into the actual. And we need to change this to create club view model fingers crossed I hope that works okay so we've got that I'm gonna bring in my view model over here I'm gonna close this so we've got title description then address.street address.state got the image club category and let's go ahead and let's rerun it. For some reason it's not. Great. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Go in here. So we go create. Go women's main street city Charlotte NC. Got just upload that and let's check what's going on here. So going in, model state is valid. We've got our result. We're creating a new club. It's going to add that new address and we've got our view model hooked up. That's how you add a one to many relationship. We're gonna go into add. Thank you, God. And it worked. Whoo! Man. Don't you just love software development? Look at that. That is a beautiful. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that awesome? I love software development. Okay, now we are not done. We also need to do, if you want to stick around, I'm going to also do the uh, races controller. So now we're here and we kind of just need to do the same exact thing. So I am just going to go over here. I'm going to create a create race view model. So we're going to go in here and I am going to copy over all of these. So I'm going to copy over this and I'm going to copy that into the create races and we're just going to change that over to the race. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? So Gonna go over here and I'm gonna close this out, and I'm pretty much just going to copy this over. 
So go in here. I'm just going to copy all of that out. And I'm also going to bring in the photo service. So I photo service is going to equal photo service. So go in here. Now I'm going to create this photo service. And instead of that, I'm going to create race view model. We call that race VM. So go into that one. Change that to race VM dot image. Race VM dot title. Race VM dot description. Race VM dot address. Race VM dot address. Race VM dot address. Then we're going to go to the race repository. Then we're going to go again. So we're going to say the race. We're going to pass in the race. And let's see. Does not exist within the current context. I might have the name spelled wrong. Great. Okay, then we're going to make sure that that model is the race. Then we're going to go down here, race VM. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the solution. So we're going to go into the solution, go here. Um, race model create race just like that you make sure we have that and I don't I honestly don't it seems to be working fine but I don't know what's going on there all right, then we're going to bring down our image to the bottom because that makes it look a little bit better. So we go here. Let me make sure that I have. I'm just going to compare these side by side really quick to make sure that I have the right one. So go here, type file. Okay, then we have the image, and of course we need this encoding type. We need that over on this one. So we're going to go encoding type, and let's just see here. Great. So clubs. All righty, it's looking great. So then we're going to go in here. Let's go ahead and test it. So we're going to go create 5K city. Then we're going to go in here and upload this thumbnail. See what happens. Went to the right controller, goes down, model state is valid, creates the result. Please work. Goes down here, adds the um, race, and then goes to the redirection. Awesome. Perfect. Looks great. So that is photo upload. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. The next one, we're going to be moving on how to create an update page. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.